So I've been making this uh, battery pack for my electric bicycle. Thought I'd make a video on it. I just finished it. Um, 13 cells in the series. Uh, makes 48 volts. Uh, and uh, I got these batteries from a uh, a guy that like was selling like, a whole bunch of like, tablet batteries here. They look like this motion computing whatever you call it and he had around like 20 of these and uh, each of them had like four cells in it this is the model number of it and uh, all of them were like bad but uh, they were bad because of this this controller right here in them so they were faulty or not working well or not charging, I don't know. I took them out and manually charged it with this thing. And it works perfectly. Like uh, It takes around like 2200 milliamps. They're rated at uh, 26. So they're like a couple years old. They're like around 4 or 5 years old, he said. And I still got a whole bunch of these. I think they're, uh, what do you call it, 16... 850 or something um, yeah they're not on here oh 1860 no 18650 that's what they're called I have around like 20 30 of them I think most of them are still okay but they're like the controllers are also dead in them. a couple of dead chargers really they're just like back cords and all that they're all good internally uh, docking station and all that. I bought all these for like 60 bucks, the whole box. And uh, before this, I had another battery pack too. I think I bought like uh, around like 15 batteries or something. And uh, I built this pack. This is a 36 volt, 10 cell. It works good, but the discharge rate is not so good on it. This one should be higher because it's uh, lithium polymer. Uh, this one's also around like uh, 1200 milliamps. I mean, uh, 12 amps, really. This one, should, it's around like 12 amps too. Uh, these ones are way older, so discharge rate is like really shit on them. Like. You ride your bike for a while holding full throttle, then after like the voltage goes down a lot, then you have to wait like half an hour before it goes up again before you can start riding again. Like it's good for like one kilometer, that's about it. And you have to like rest for a while. So uh this one should be better. Um each cell is it's around like ten cells. So it's around 130 cells total for this pack. It's pretty cool. Nice hefty pack. This thing will make a nice bomb if it goes off. Just stab a screwdriver in one of the packs. Just reaction. Be pretty scary. I already shocked myself a good couple times with this. Uh, like. I think it's fully charged, it's like 54 volts or something. It was at 52 and I, and it shocked me pretty good. It's not painful, like a burning shock, but it's more like a, like, it's kind of like getting shocked with like, like one, 110 really. It's a, about the same, it's a little, little less painful. But yeah, that's about it really. I got also two packs over there that I think I'm not going to use. I might just test them real quick. That's a four cell. Each one is uh, 12 volts. They're all random. Two starter battery packs. Uh, one from a, those UPS power supplies. And the other one was from a, uh, a battery charger. Uh, one of those booster packs. Uh, that battery pack was what came with the bike. That's the casing for it. Cruddy aluminum casing. 
but uh, I think those are going to be uh, scrapped because they're pretty dead. This one I might just test it real quick, see how long it lasts. If this lasts longer, then uh, I'll keep this one and maybe like take that apart and use it for something else. I also bought this controller for it too. It's uh, 36 volts right now, but I'm going to upgrade with uh, this controller, which is 42 volts at 500 watts. The other one is, I think it's like 200 watts. It's a brushed motor, so it's not brushless. I wish it was. But yeah, that's about it.